What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Ultimate Training Guide. We have got Andres Iniesta that we're going to be taking a look at, the midfield magician. Now, stats don't tell the full picture with a lot of players and this is definitely true for Iniesta. I've played with his standard version and he is absolutely insane. This version of him, I missed out on his legend card. I probably will try Spain for this version of him. But trust me, lads, he plays way above his stats. He's absolutely insane. We will have a free-to-play uh, no spend alternative as well that tracks up really nicely with Iniesta we'll take a look at him in a few minutes as well and we have two versions of Iniesta so the first thing that we're going to look at here is the basic stuff right so he's got trickster amazing run and incisive run which is huge for a creative playmaker especially playing him as an AMF or a CMF an attack and CMF he's also got double touch one touch pass and of course he has got true passing weighted pass and he does have unwavering form as well. So I definitely think he is going to be a highlight player. I think he's going to be a monster. Looking at that card there, you know, with fresh eyes. I'm out of breath, lads. I'm out of breath. What's the first thing that you look at with that card? And it is the speed. That is the issue, right? And also the physical contact for an attacking midfielder. An attacking midfielder is going to be on the ball quite a lot in tight spaces. So you either need to have a really good balance or else you need to have good physical contact if you're looking for a slower base, stronger AMF, such as Pogba or somebody like that, right? But Iniesta's stats are insane otherwise. You've got the low pass, you've pretty much got ball control, dribble and tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, curl and balance all in the 80s straight off the rip. And he does have 32 levels to go as well. So we're going to get over to him. Now Iniesta is, down, is not down as a whole player. I think he would even be a better card if he was down as a whole player. But he's down as a creative playmaker. All versions of him are down as that. But his standard card is a classic number 10. So if you're used to playing with him before, this card will even be better because of the creative playmaker. If you're playing like a 3-5-2 or something that gets involved a lot of central areas, right? So we are going to go over to eFootball DB. And we're going to take a look at the first version of him here. So this one is just your traditional kind of CMF that's going to be doing a little bit of defensive work, getting back and just getting a body in the way. Um, but he's still going to have good passing, good dribbling and good dexterity, right? Big issue with this card for me is the speed at 75 for a centre midfielder. It's not a huge concern, but I like if I've got my players, I like to have my players, I've got a rule of thumb, right? I like to have my centre backs and my left and right backs to have at least 75 uh, acceleration minimum, unless it's like a really, really rare example of Van Dyke or maybe Maldini, um, who's going to get to that, like maybe 73 or something like that. And then for my midfielders, it doesn't matter if it's a DMF, unless it's a complete like blocker anchorman, such as Rodri or Fabinho. But most of the players that I have across the pitch, any of my back four is going to have 75 plus acceleration. And any of my forward players my six outfield players, as I like to call them, my six kind of midfielders and forwards are going to want to have, I'm going to want to have at least 80 acceleration with him. So he does have 80 acceleration. 75 speed is the bare minimum I would go as well. With the form area, you are going to get boost to that. And we've also left the dribbling at 88 because we're going to be getting the boost to that to bring his ball control, tight possession and low pass up to 95 with the form arrow, dribbling up to 90. So you're going to have all those stats in the 90 zone, which is insane. You're also going to have curl in the 90 zone, which is really good. And with those player skills, this guy is going to be a machine. I definitely think one of the best attacking midfielders, centre midfielder slash hybrids or attacking midfielder slash centre midfielder hybrids in the game. Okay. Now, the big thing with this card, lads, in my opinion is you're going to have to play him a little bit differently than you would with like a run and gun attack a midfielder or center midfielder. He's not a box to box, number one, right? So he doesn't have the engine on him, even though he's got good stamina. But Iniesta is all about pockets of space, like getting those pockets of space, slowing the game down. The gameplay at the moment doesn't really suit Iniesta. So you're going to have to adapt to that um, compared to using somebody like Messi or somebody like that, who's got a little bit more, um, doesn't have as much maybe pace, but plays quicker, if that makes sense. Iniesta is all about kind of slowing the ball down, seeing how, you know, what options are open, right? But I do think that there is a better version of Iniesta here. Even though this guy is 96 overall on his card, this version of him is 95, but I think this is the best version of him. Now, people always go on about me saying, you know, oh, why do you train up the acceleration this high? I don't ever train up the acceleration in mind. Once the acceleration is over 80 for most of my players... I don't really use that as a, a parameter for, for training my players anymore. What I'm always focused on is what stacks with dexterity, and that is balance and offensive awareness. And in this case, it's balance. 
People don't realize still how important balance is, lads, for off the ball movement, for reaction times. There's a lot of stuff that's handled by balance, especially with low center of gravity players. That's why Romario is so good. That's why Iniesta is going to be so good. That's why the likes of Ito, the likes of all those guys that are just kind of able to get the ball down low, you know, Xavi Simmons, Pedri, Gavi, all of those guys are extremely overpowered on the game, okay? Compared to the likes of somebody like Kaka or somebody like that. Um, so 97 balance, that's going to max out his balance. Good luck getting the ball off him if you're a good dribbler uh, with your opponent. And then ball control, dribble and tight possession, low pass, all going to be in the high 90s or low 90s. Uh, acceleration is going to be close enough to 90. We've got the stamina and the speed a little bit reduced, but we do have the offensive awareness massive. Now, the thing I'm going to say about this card is, right, we've only put in two into passing because his stats are so good. You can get away with doing that. You could even get away with putting one in. There's just nowhere else really to pop that point in. So I would say put two into passing, and then you can mess around with the acceleration here if you want to. I mean, look, being 100% honest with you, it is probably overkill to have 87 acceleration on a card like this. This is going to be an attacking midfielder, um, you know, first and foremost. And he's going to go into that AMF role, um, which is where you want him to be. But I definitely think that that is going to make this card very overpowered, especially if you have that close to that, um, to that point. If you want to pop, pop two more into passing or a few more into passing you can take one dexterity away you're still going to have enough with 98 99 balance with the boost okay so just to keep that in mind but that is how i would go i would either go that route or else i would go that route depending on how you want to train him up um that is kind of where i would go with it or else you could pop in one with stamina just be careful if you do run and gun a lot that you are going to need to probably put counter target on him or something like that if you're playing him very advanced up okay now we're talking about alternatives as i like to do here something unique we do on the channel this is our alternative to iniesta so we're just going to take a quick look at the comparison between them right so this gavi okay he's got 87 acceleration with 95 balance um iniesta's got 87 with 97 balance so yeah, very, very similar. They're both creative playmakers. They both got pretty identical player skills, double touch. You've also got one touch pass. Um, Gavi has actually got way more aggressive nature about him and defensive engagement. So he's going to be an absolute machine. Um, he's also got fighting spirit, but he's got trickster, amazing run and incisive run. Iniesta has got trickster, amazing run and incisive run. So yeah, there's a lot to love about this card. Cut behind and turn, cut behind and turn. Soul control, soul control, Marseille turn, Marseille turn. I mean, it's like they used Gavi um, or Iniesta as a prototype for Gavi in this game because they're pretty much identical. They both got outside curler. Gavi does have true passing, right? But he doesn't have weighted pass, okay? So that's just one thing to keep in mind. They both don't have pinpoint crossing either. Um, Iniesta's got pinpoint crossing, but he doesn't have fighting spirit. So they're both kind of similar players, um, but different. We've also got the ball control, dribbling and tight possession. Very, very, very close. 95, 90, 95 for Iniesta. 92, 93, 95 for Gavi. Um, and the passing 88 and 85, 89 and 86. So if you're staying free to play and you've got 100,000 GP with a form this week, you will not get a better alternative to Gavi lads, or to Iniesta than Gavi. So um, Pedri also falls into this, but I think Gavi stacks up better with the player skills and the movement and the way he actually handles. And of course, the height as well at 173. Iniesta's 171 and the way it's 68 and 70 so they're extremely similar players um obviously you're going to have to take a look at how you play both players in your system but yeah that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon don't forget to like favorite and subscribe if you haven't already on the channel talk to you later